welcome to Darwin. Located on East Falklands, just north of Goose Green, the tucked away settlement comprises a few houses, but is surrounded in rich history, wildlife and landscapes. In the 1800s, Charles Darwin spent the night in the area whilst carrying out a zoological survey of the Falkland Islands. Well, the name came from Charles Darwin, who I think it was 1833, 1834, he came, um, he, he arrived here and he made the trip on horseback um, to this area where he's reportedly to have um, camped the night in the valley just as you come into the settlement um, where there was some running water. And we understand that's probably as far south and west as he managed to get to. A quarter of a century later, the settlement was founded and gradually morphed into the centre for sheep and cattle farming in Lafonia, taking the reins from its predecessor, Hope Place. In the 1920s, Darwin was then succeeded by Goose Green as the community moved. Historical features from the era, such as the Bocca Wall of peat and corrals, are still visible today. Well, I understand Hope Place, um, after they'd been there for a while, there, again, there was trouble with fresh water and it was decided to find another good harbour um, and then start off again. Um, and Darwin was then in the shelter of the bay um, and the harbour became Darwin Harbour. Um, and it, it, it was used here as a, a sheep farm, but prior to that it was mainly cattle. Um, and you have the stone corral here and the gull pond, which is the farm building. Um, and the gull pond, or the, sorry, the stone corral was used um, for handling cattle initially. Um, Darwin then had an issue with water, we understand, um, drinking water and the bay was beginning to silt up, making it difficult for the vessels to come in and take wool away and whatnot. So the decision was made to move, literally lock, stock and barrel, to, to Goose Green. Situated around is one of the world's most southerly suspension bridges, Bodie Creek Bridge. More recently, the area saw heavy fighting during the 1982 conflict as 2nd Power Regiment took Darwin Hill during the Battle of Goose Green. Today, you can visit and see many memorials from both sides of the conflict. I mean, Darwin became quite famous because of 1982 and when the 2nd Parachute Regiment came, came through um, to liberate Goose Green. We've got uh, the cairn where uh, Colonel H. Jones was, was killed. Then there's a um, memorial to two para. There's also one for Nick Taylor, who was the Harrier pilot shot down at Goose Green. There's one for the engineers. And just recently installed on the road coming into to Darwin uh, is one uh, for a Gurkha who was killed a few days after the surrender in, in clearing ordnance. Attractions include walking on the roof of the Falcons Mount Osborne, fishing in the harbour or even watching the local amateur horse riders race at the small race course. Visitors are able to stay at Darwin Lodge and enjoy the variety around the historic settlement. I, I can boast I think I have the best office in the Falklands. There's a lot to offer when people come here, they can walk everywhere. Um, we have no minefields now, you know, it's safe everywhere if you want to do a bit of fishing, you can do that. You can do boat work here, canoes, etc. Uh, but there's also some nice walks that can be done. But now we would say enjoy the local history, enjoy the history from 1982 and get to know it and understand, you know, why we're so passionate about the place in general. Um, and take on board the lovely days and, and the, the wildlife that that is around here.